Well, Jamie, have you heard about the controversial remarks? Getting a lot of attention this morning, those from Iowa Congressman, noted Republican Steve King. Congressman King said that if Barack Obama wins the election, he said, quote, radical Islamists and al-Qaeda would be dancing in the streets. He said that an Obama win would be a win in the war on terror and referring to Barack Obama's middle name, Hussein, said that the middle name does matter. The Republican congressman is a John McCain supporter and he joins us now live on the telephone. Congressman King, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, what did you mean by those remarks and do you still stand by them? Of course I stand by my remarks. They were something that I've thought about for quite some time. And it, I think it's time for the American people to think about these implications. This is a different thing if it happened to be a presidential candidate that hadn't announced that he would immediately pull out of Iraq. But it is. And this presidential candidate called the war there a botched and ill-advised U.S. military incursion into a Muslim country. That's what Obama said. And so the perception of this in the Middle East will be, first of all, if he's elected president, he's already declared defeat in Iraq. They will declare victory. They will come to the streets to dance in celebration of their victory in their big battle in this global war on terror. And that's the chilling aspect because the message then will be uh, to all of us in this country need to understand that it will be very, very difficult to ever win this global war on terror if we elect Obama president and he declares defeat. Well, you know, your comments are causing a firestorm. Let's take a look at uh, what the Obama campaign says. They said, quote, these comments have no place in our politics, and we hope Senator McCain will repudiate them like he has previous offensive comments from his supporters. And the McCain campaign says, quote, the senator has been clear that he intends to keep this campaign about the issues. He's condemned similar comments by talk radio host Bill Cunningham. He doesn't agree with King's comments. He intends to run a respectful uh, race. What about their reaction? And do you really think that it's appropriate that terrorists would be supporting uh, Obama's uh, election? Uh, I don't think there's any question about it. Uh, certainly they're going to be the person that's the, the most prominent pacifist in the race. And uh, there's, a, there's something else that was part of that. And by the way, I was careful not to say his middle name. But it means something different in the Middle East than it means here. We've risen above this in the United States. About 25% of Americans will change their religion during their lifetime. To them, religion is more hereditary. So it's harder for Obama to convince them that he's Christian. He's convinced me, but I don't think he'll convince a lot of the Middle East because it is hereditary. So, but it's more has to do with the fact that he has announced already that we've already lost, that it is a civil war that can't be won militarily. The other implications will be written into it, and I think that we need to understand the Middle Eastern culture, and that's the point that I make. Uh, but I don't know how we ever win this war on terror if we have someone in a presidency that declares defeat from the beginning. If I, a last question. You know, a lot of attention on these comments, people saying that they're inappropriate. Uh, but I get a sense from you that you're really trying to talk about policy and keep it on the positions and issues that he's taken, and you are not, not backtracking from these comments. I will not backtrack from my comments. I think if they're read in context or taken the way I've explained them, it's a discussion that we have to have as the American people. And, and um, the, the, you know, if it gets to the point where it's so politically correct that I can't say something that's objectively true, and, and by the way, nobody is challenging my conclusion here. Uh, they're just simply implying that my, or they're saying flat out that there's implication in the, in the objective statements that I have made that are offensive to them. Well, I think I've just touched a nerve that speaks the truth, and they should step up and address and debate the truth and not try to disparage me. Touching a nerve, Stephen King speaking out, not backtracking or backing down from his controversial comments. So, Congressman King, thank you for joining us, explaining yourself this morning here on Fox News. Good to hear Thanks right very much, from Eric. him, Eric.